Okay, it's Cool Dude Clem here. And today I'm going to show you what happens when you overvolt your camcorder. And sorry about the noise. I've got my fan on because it's pretty warm in here. Anyway. As many of you probably know, this is the camera that I use for my YouTube videos. However, the battery life on this thing is absolutely atrocious. It only gives you about 30 minutes of running time, and then you've got to recharge it again, which takes forever. And it only came with one battery, so I couldn't have one charged on standby and then swap the batteries over when they get low, or anything like that. And in fact, this thing doesn't even come with any kind of power adapter apart from the charger and there is no means of connecting this to any kind of AC adapter so what I did was I made this little circuit here just a little LM317 voltage regulator and a control here where I can adjust the voltage so I can connect one end to a wall wart power supply and the other end up to where the camera's battery would be and I could power the camera from an AC adapter so I connected this to one of my wall warts adjusted the voltage so it was 3.7 volts connected it to the camera and everything worked I was able to power my camera off an AC adapter and everything pretty much worked okay until one day this circuit malfunctioned in some way and I noticed when I went to pick up the camera it was incredibly hot however I'd left the camera on top of this which is one of my power supplies and that was on so I thought you know, maybe my power supply is a bit warm and it's warmed up the camera. No big deal. It was a big deal. Because I tried to turn the camera on. And it wouldn't turn on. It was completely dead. So, I decided. I'll check what voltage this is giving out. Maybe it's not giving out enough voltage anymore. It's giving out voltage, alright. 8 volts! It's putting 8 volts into this poor camera! And this is what's happened to it. Firstly, take a look at the battery compartment. You can see that is really, really warped. So, something had gotten really hot in there. So let's peel off one layer here and take a look inside. I don't know why my frame rate's not very good, but anyway. It doesn't look like much damage has been done inside until we lift this circuit board out. And I can see the damage has been done. There is a great big hole. A great big hole has been melted right there. And this chip, as you can see on the circuit board, has got a little bit blown out of it right there. Now I believe this is some kind of switching power supply because we've got all these coils here and all those capacitors. So that's obviously some kind of switching voltage regulator to provide power to all the parts of the camera. Or should I say, regulate power to all the different parts of the camera. However, I think there might be hope for this thing. Yes, this circuit board is completely pooched and it's not going to do anything ever again, but since this is such a cheapo camera, I'm thinking that maybe the different parts in this camera are pretty much off-the-shelf parts and if there's some kind of interface out there that I can connect between the camera module and the computer I might be able to use this as a webcam so 
for now I'm keeping this I'm not going to actually throw it away but anyway I just thought I'd bring this little video to your attention just put this video out there of what happens when you overvolt your webcam I mean your camcorder and anyway I've got some more videos to get on with now so it's my channel I'll upload whatever the hell I want and until next time goodbye